everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be addressing my most frequently asked houseplant question, which is how do I get my leaves so shiny? So over the past year, this would have to be my most commonly asked question, so I thought it would be a good idea to make a video. So I'll be showing you today how I shine my leaves, how often and the products I use. Firstly, I'll tell you why I actually wipe down the leaves of my plants. So wiping down the leaves of my plants is actually part of my plant maintenance routine. It removes dust and any residue from the leaves as these can actually prevent the plant from photosynthesizing. Basically any dust and residue can actually shade the leaf surface and this can slow down the growth of your plant. So as well as wiping down the leaves for this reason, I also do it to help prevent bugs such as spider mites. I do actually use a neem oil mix, which consists of horticultural soap, warm filtered water and neem oil. So these are actually the products that I use to create my neem oil mix, as well as warm filtered water. The instructions are on the back, the ratios of how much oil you need to put with the soap. These products, along with any other products that I recommend, are linked into my Amazon shop, which is below in the description box. I just use a basic spray bottle from Amazon for my mix, and I'd recommend keeping it somewhere room temperature to make sure that it doesn't solidify. And the same goes for the neem oil. If you keep this somewhere cold, it will solidify, and then you won't even be able to pour it out of the bottle. So as long as it's kept room temperature or higher, it should be fine. I did notice on the back of the bottle that it does say to use the mix within eight hours of preparation. I'm not quite sure why, I've never done that myself. I usually have this mix in this bottle for weeks. I haven't had any issue with my mix at all. So once I've added the neem oil, the horticultural soap and the water to my spray bottle, all I do is spray this mix onto some kitchen roll and then wipe down the leaves of my plants, which I'll show you in a moment. So as well as removing dust and any residue, it also helps prevent bugs and also gives the leaves a nice shine. I don't tend to use this mix on my velvet leaved plants like my Gloriosum, Melanochrysum, etc. Just because I found that the dust actually sticks to it a lot more. So I just tend to wipe down the velvet leaves with filtered water on kitchen roll. You can also use the neem oil mix as a drench if you are looking to get rid of mealy bugs or fungus gnats. I have used it for mealy bugs in the past and it did work pretty well. One thing to bear in mind after applying this neem oil mix is that it can make the leaves a bit light sensitive. So I would avoid putting your plants in direct sunlight after applying this mix or too close to a grow light. Luckily mine are quite far away from the grow lights down here, so there's nothing to worry about. And at this time of year, the plants on the windowsill should be all right because we're not getting too much sun, but in the summer it would definitely burn the foliage. So here up in my office, I haven't actually applied my neem oil mix to any of the plants that are underneath my Spider Farmer grow light, just because the light is very intense and the plants are actually quite close to the light. So there's always a risk that they could burn. I might actually move my Florida Beauty out from under the grow light soon because it is getting quite big. Uh, once I do that, I will actually wipe down the leaves and then I have to figure out where I'm going to put it. I can put it near a grow light, so hopefully it will still be getting enough light. As with all the products I use, I will link my Spider Farmer grow lights in the description box for you. I'm quite surprised at how well the plants are all growing, seeing as it is winter. This is my new Sodroy leaf. And then my Melanochrysum has just unfurled a lovely new leaf. And this is the newest leaf from my Florida Beauty. So all the plants are looking really happy. So I tend to wipe down the leaves of my plants around once a month. And you'll find if there are any spider mites on your plants, you will get some little orange dots on the kitchen roll because sometimes it is quite hard to detect spider mites. But the neem oil mix is a very good preventative for spider mites. As you well know, calatheas can be very prone to them. Prone to a lot of bugs, actually. I recently wiped down my Marble Queen. Obviously a little bit time consuming when there's tons of leaves like this one. 
but they will look so much nicer once the leaves have had a good clean. As I mentioned, it can be quite time consuming, especially if you've got a large collection like myself, but it's definitely worth it to help keep the leaves nice and clean and shiny and hopefully bug free. So all I do is give my mix a little shake to make sure it's all mixed up properly. And then just apply some to some paper towel or kitchen roll. So I wipe down the front of the leaf, the back of the leaf and also the stems. If you've got too much oil on the surface and it's literally dripping off the leaves, just wipe it down with some plain kitchen roll. I ended up moving my dragon scale into the living room as it started dropping its oldest leaf and I thought the kitchen might be a little bit too cold. So I'm really hoping it doesn't go dormant. I gave this one a wipe a couple of days ago and it's looking really beautiful. Hopefully it'll be okay in here because it's much warmer than the kitchen. It's right next to the humidifier and it's also under a grow light and close to the window. So fingers crossed it doesn't go dormant. I also moved my Queen Anthurium down into the living room as well. She was in my office before but now I get to look at her more often because I do spend quite a bit more time in the living room, especially now I'm not at work, we're in lockdown here in the UK. So I'm hoping that she'll be happy here next to the humidifier. This is her newest leaf, beautiful. Oh yes, and there was another new leaf I wanted to show you. My Queen of Hearts has just popped out this new leaf. Look how beautiful that color is. So as they mature, they turn into a green color, but for quite some time, they'll stay red and then they kind of turn to more of a browny red and then green. So that's quite exciting. Also, my Gloriosum has got a new leaf on the way. And there's another one on the way from my Luxurians. Thank you so much for watching everyone. I really hope that I addressed your question on how I shine my leaves and why. If you've got any questions, please pop them below in the comments and I'll do my best to get back to you. And as I mentioned, all the products I use will be linked into my Amazon shop, which is in the description box. I've got quite a lot of products in my Amazon shop. I ended up creating some categories. So I've got like a gardening section, houseplant care, um, home decor and then random things that I buy from Amazon. Thanks again for watching. Take care everyone and I'll see you all soon in my next video.